This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. 100 Recommended Foods at 7 Eleven. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Akane Maru, born and raised in Japan. This video is about 7 Eleven. We carefully selected 100 recommended items from among the about 3,500 private label products. We have posted videos about 7-Eleven before, but this time we repurchased all the products and filmed them again. We'll share the latest information on prices, flavors, and more. Now, let's get started! This time, we'll introduce these 11 sections. First, let's start by introducing some cup ramen collaborated with popular ramen shops. The first one is Santoka. The main branch of this ramen shop is in Hokkaido, and it has over 10 locations across Japan. It's a world-famous ramen shop that has expanded into the US, Asia, and more. The soup combines pork bone and salt. The flavor is rich, but the aftertaste is refreshing. The thin noodles are well coated by the soup. Next up is Ippudo. This ramen shop has over 140 locations in Japan and more than 270 abroad. It's a popular tonkotsu flavor in Hakata, located to the west of Japan. The tonkotsu flavor is refreshing and goes well with the spiciness of miso. The thin noodles give a smooth texture. Without any strong scent, it's easy to eat, making it a great choice even for those trying it for the first time. Next is Sumire. It's a ramen shop established in 1964 in Sapporo, Hokkaido. This is a miso ramen, a classic in Hokkaido. The soup is rich with a pleasant aroma of garlic. The noodles are thick and chewy. This ramen has subtle spiciness and addictive flavor. Next up is Moko Tanmen Nakamoto. It's a ramen shop founded in Tokyo with currently over 20 locations across Japan. Among ramen shops that offer spicy flavors, it's the most famous in Japan. The soup features not only the spiciness of red peppers, but also the aroma of garlic and the richness of miso. The noodles have just the right thickness, allowing them to coat well in the spicy soup. There is plenty of tofu and vegetables, so you can also enjoy various textures. Next is Ida Shoten. It's a reservation-only ramen shop located in Kanagawa, right next to Tokyo. This shop is so popular that reservations for one week fill up in less than 10 minutes. The soy sauce-based soup with the richness of chicken and seafood broth making it a flavorful and rich taste. It uses non-fried noodles and they are thin. It's great to be able to easily enjoy the taste of a popular ramen shop. Next is Tomita. It's a ramen shop with its main store in Chiba, right next to Tokyo, and currently it has 13 locations across Japan. It became the number one ramen in Japan at the 2018 ramen competition. The soup, which includes pork extract, is rich and thick. The noodles are thin, giving it a smooth texture. We'll introduce tsukemen of Tomita later, so stay tuned! Next, we'll introduce 8 types of frozen foods. First, let's start with fried rice. You can easily prepare it by heating the bag in the microwave. It has a savory aroma of soy sauce. The chashu pork fat soaks into the rice, making it delicious. You can enjoy the same taste as authentic Chinese restaurants. Next up is spaghetti bolognese. It has a nice aroma of tomatoes and cheese. 
There is plenty of coarsely ground beef, making it satisfying to eat. The fruity aroma of wine and the rich seasoning create a quality that you wouldn't expect from frozen food. Next, we'll introduce Daigaku Imo. It's sold frozen, but you can thaw it by leaving it at room temperature for about 30 minutes. The outside is crispy and the inside is moist. The natural sweetness of sweet potatoes go well with honey. Next up is katsuni. This is a dish where pork cutlet is simmered in egg and Japanese-style broth. The pork has just the right amount of fat and it's juicy. The fluffy eggs are soaked in soy-flavored broth. It's a taste that makes you crave rice. Next up is grilled beef ribs. It's grilled with a sauce that includes garlic and gochujang, giving it a savory aroma. The meat is fatty and melts in your mouth. It has rich flavors, so it goes well with alcohol or rice. It's incredibly delicious! Next up is margarita. This pizza is supervised by a chef who won the World Pizza Championship two years in a row. You need to cook it using a microwave and toaster oven. It has a pleasant aroma of wheat and basil. The dough is crispy with a nice browning, and the inside is chewy. The mozzarella cheese is creamy, and the subtle tartness of the tomato sauce is perfect. It tastes like something you'd enjoy at a high-end restaurant. Next, we have tsukemen from Tomita. You need a microwave and a pot to prepare. The bag has many holes like a strainer, making it easy to rinse the noodles. An authentic tsukemen, just like you would have at a restaurant, is ready. The soup has a rich flavor, combining seafood and pork bone. The noodles are thick and they have a pleasant aroma of wheat. The perfect combination of chewy noodles and rich soup. It takes a little time to prepare, but it's delicious, so we highly recommend it. The last frozen food we'll introduce is ramen from Tengai Ten. Tengai Ten is a famous ramen shop located in Kumamoto, founded in 1989. The pork bone soup is topped with fried garlic, giving it a nice aroma. The soup is rich, but the aftertaste is refreshing. The chashu pork is thick and has a good amount of fat. The thin noodles coat well with the soup. It's great that you can easily enjoy the taste of Kumamoto. Next, we'll introduce 14 types of desserts and ice cream. First up is the smoothie released in 2023. You can make it using this machine. After placing the cup in the machine, press the button. Depending on the type of smoothie, it blends differently. There are four types available, and we chose the strawberry and blueberry smoothie. It has the tartness of fruit, but the yogurt in it gives it a mild flavor and makes it easy to drink. It has an authentic flavor that you wouldn't expect from a convenience store smoothie. Next is the cream puff. It uses Japanese wheat, giving it a nice aroma. The pastry has a fluffy texture. The custard cream inside has a pleasant aroma of vanilla beans. It has a rich taste of egg yolk and is creamy. Next is dorayaki, the Japanese-style pancake. It's typically filled with sweet red bean paste, but this one uses chestnut paste. Finely chopped chestnuts are included, giving it a pleasant texture. The dough is moist and fluffy. Next is tiramisu. It has a pleasant aroma of cocoa powder. Underneath the cream, made with mascarpone, there is a cocoa sponge cake soaked in coffee syrup. The bitterness of coffee and the sweetness of the cream are a perfect match. Next up, we have the Mont Blanc. It's made of four layers, 
chestnut cream, whipped cream, chestnut milk mousse, and sponge cake. It has a rich flavor, and the aroma of chestnut spreads in your mouth. It's an authentic Mont Blanc that uses chestnuts from Italy. Next is the crepe. The texture of the batter is moist and chewy. Inside, there are bananas, chocolate cream, and whipped cream. The small size allows you to enjoy it without getting tired until the end. Next is the custard pudding. It's a particularly popular sweet treat at 7-Eleven. The rich taste of eggs and milk gives it a creamy, melt-in-your-mouth texture. The caramel sauce has a subtle bitterness, but it's sweet, so it's recommended even for children. Next up is the sweet potato tart. It has a nice aroma because it uses vanilla beans from Madagascar. The sweetness of eggs and milk enhances the flavor of sweet potatoes, making it even more delicious. It's moist and has a smooth texture. Next is Bam Cushion. It uses fermented butter from France. You can taste the sweetness of eggs and butter rather than the sweetness of sugar. The fluffy texture is addictive. Next is Warabi Mochi. It uses roasted soybean flour from Japanese soybeans, so it has a pleasant aroma. Inside the warabi mochi, there is brown sugar syrup. It has a chewy texture, but it gradually melts in your mouth. Next is soft serve ice cream. It's a particularly popular item among the ice creams. The aroma of vanilla beans adds to the rich sweetness of milk, making it delicious. The waffle cone is crispy, and it has the sweetness of butter. Next is Shirokuma. It's shaved ice with plenty of condensed milk, a popular treat in Kagoshima Prefecture located in the south of Japan. The sweetness of milk spreads throughout your mouth. The tartness of fruits like strawberry and pineapple gives it a refreshing accent. Next is Monaka Ice Cream. The inside is coated with white chocolate to prevent the ice cream from soaking into the monaka. The combination of milk-flavored ice cream and azuki beans is excellent. The crispy texture is addictive. Next is chocolate ice cream bar. It's coated with chocolate containing hazelnuts. The crispy texture is delightful. The ice cream also uses hazelnuts, so it has a rich flavor. It's a luxurious ice cream. Next, we'll introduce 14 items, including bread and sandwiches. First, we have the fish burger. It's seasoned with tartar sauce and has a creamy taste. The fried fish is crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. The size is large, making it satisfying to eat. Next is the bread with chocolate cream. The feature is the soft and fluffy texture of the dough. There is chocolate cream and chocolate chips inside, giving it a delightful texture. You can enjoy this bread like dessert. Next is corn bread. It's topped with plenty of mayonnaise and corn on the bread. The sweetness of the corn and the creamy mayonnaise are a perfect match. It's simple but delicious, so please give it a try. Next is yakisoba pan. The noodles are seasoned with sauce sandwiched between fluffy bread. The sauce is fruity and slightly spicy. The noodles are chewy, making it delicious. Next up is a bread with whipped cream in between. The whipped cream has the sweetness of sugar, but it also has the rich taste of milk. It's not too sweet, and the aftertaste is refreshing. It's a recommended bread for those who want to enjoy plenty of whipped cream. Next is a chocolate donut. 
The chocolate flavored dough is coated with chocolate. The chewy texture of the dough is addictive. It's nice that the price is affordable. Next is the butter flavored bread. It's made with plenty of butter in the dough, so it has a pleasant aroma of sweetness. It's moist and fluffy. When baked in a toaster oven, it enhances the sweetness and aroma, making it even more delicious. Next up is melon pan. The surface is a cookie crust, and the bottom is made of soft bread dough. You can enjoy a crispy and fluffy texture together. It has the sweetness of sugar and butter. Next is the Menchikatsu Burger. It's seasoned with a rich sauce and karashi mustard. The Menchikatsu is juicy because it's made with beef. The size is large, so it's satisfying to eat. Next is the Chicken Katsu Sandwich. The thick chicken is made with thigh meat, making it tender and juicy. The sauce has a subtle spiciness. The texture of the cabbage adds a nice accent. Next is a sandwich where you can enjoy three different flavors. It includes tuna mayonnaise, ham and lettuce, and egg. The tuna mayonnaise is creamy with the subtle aroma of soy sauce. The lettuce has a fresh and crispy texture, adding a nice accent. The egg is creamy and melts in your mouth. Next up is the chicken and egg sandwich. The chicken is seasoned with teriyaki sauce, giving it a sweet flavor. The creamy egg and the chicken are a perfect match. The satisfying size makes it a great choice for lunch as well. Next is the burrito. It's wrapped in a chewy tortilla with tomato sauce and mozzarella cheese. The tomato sauce has a nice aroma of basil. The melted mozzarella cheese is incredibly delicious. It's just the right size when you're a little hungry. Next is the egg salad bread. It's filled with eggs mixed with mayonnaise. The fluffy and melting texture is fantastic. If you love eggs, it's definitely worth a try. Next, we'll introduce six different drinks. First up is yuzu lemon soda. It's made with yuzu from Japan. There is a subtle sweetness, but the aftertaste has a refreshing citrusy flavor. You can also enjoy the pleasant aroma of yuzu. Next is iced coffee. Once you buy a cup with ice, you place it into the machine and press a button. You can easily enjoy authentic coffee, extracted and brewed from coffee beans. It's just as delicious as Starbucks. If you'd like hot coffee, you need to purchase a dedicated cup at the counter. Depending on the store, there are machines where you can choose the strength of your coffee. Please try freshly brewed coffee. At 7-Eleven, you can find Milk Coffee collaborated with Ueshima Coffee, a cafe with over 90 locations across Japan. It's a sugar-free coffee blend of coffee and milk. You can taste the natural sweetness of the milk. 7-Eleven also sells private label low malt beer. It's about 10% cheaper compared to other ones, making it a great deal. The taste is also great, so be sure to give it a try. There is also sparkling wine made with California wine. This bottle can be opened even without a wine opener, so it's convenient. It's great that it's just the right size for one person. Next, we'll introduce seven types of hot snacks available at the counter. First up is Nana Chiki. It's a fried chicken seasoned with black pepper. It's made with chicken thigh meat, making it tender and juicy. The meat juices overflow. 
There is also agedori, similar to fried chicken. It features a simple seasoning with salt and soy sauce, and the coating is thin. The coating is crispier than nanachiki and has a Japanese flavor. Next up is the potato croquette. It's made with potatoes from Hokkaido, and it has a smooth texture. Inside, there is minced meat, so you can taste the richness of the meat. It's delicious as it is, but putting sauce is also recommended. The affordable price is nice. Next up is curry bread. It's fried in the shop, so you can enjoy it freshly made. The outside is crispy and the inside is chewy. The curry has mild spiciness and a fruity flavor. Next, we have a sausage. It's made with coarsely ground meat, allowing you to enjoy the texture of the meat even more. The juices from the meat overflow in your mouth. Next one is the pork bun. The dough is soft and moist. Inside, there is pork, onions, bamboo shoots, and shiitake mushrooms. The sweetness of the onions and the richness of the pork soaked into the dough, making it delicious. In addition to pork bun, pizza bun is also popular. It's filled with tomato sauce and cheese inside. The combination of fluffy dough and melted cheese is perfect. The aroma of basil adds a nice accent. Next, we'll introduce four instant foods. Let's start with spicy beef soup. Just add hot water and wait for one minute, and it's ready. It's spicy, but you can also taste the richness of the beef. It's great that there are plenty of vegetables in it. Next is tonjiru. It's a classic Japanese miso soup with pork and vegetables. It has a rich flavor because of the pork fat and the umami from the vegetables. The texture of daikon radishes in carrots adds a nice accent. Next, we have zosui. It's a classic Japanese rice soup seasoned with a Japanese-style broth. It contains salmon, so it has just the right amount of saltiness. It has a mild flavor. By the way, there is zosui with crab. It has a nice aroma of crab. The expiration date is long, so it's also recommended as a souvenir from Japan. Next, we'll introduce 11 types of chilled foods. Let's start with hamburger steak. Just heat it up in the microwave to enjoy authentic hamburger steak. The demi-glace sauce, simmered for over two days, is rich and has the aroma of wine. It's made with coarsely ground meat, giving it a great texture and juicy. By the way, at 7-Eleven, there is rice that you can easily prepare by heating it up in the microwave. It goes perfectly with hamburger steaks, so please try them together. Once you try it, you'll get addicted to this combination. Next is steamed chicken. It's seasoned with herbs, so it has a nice aroma. The texture is moist and tender. It's recommended for those on a diet because it's made with chicken breast. Next is kakuni. It's a dish where pork is simmered with soy sauce and sugar. The meat is so tender that it can easily be cut with chopsticks and juices overflow. The sweet and rich flavor is addictive. Next is butter chicken curry. The sweet aroma of butter is irresistible. The chicken is grilled, making it savory and juicy. It's so authentic that you wouldn't think it's convenience store curry. By the way, 7-Eleven sells naan as well. It goes well with butter chicken curry, so be sure to try them together. Next is the imitation crab bar. 
It has a moderate texture and is high in protein, making it a recommended choice for those on a diet. It has the aroma of crab and tastes delicious. Next is Nikujaga. It's a representative Japanese home-cooked dish made by simmering pork, potatoes, and carrots with soy sauce and sugar. The flavors are well absorbed by the potatoes and carrots. The texture of konjac adds a nice accent. Next is chicken kebab. It has a spicy and authentic aroma. It's tender and juicy. The taste makes you crave a beer. If you like alcohol, we recommend grilled squid. Put mayonnaise on it and it's ready. It has a plump texture. It's seasoned with shichimi pepper, so it has a citrusy aroma. Next is grilled sable fish marinated in miso. It's marinated in miso and sake, enhancing the aroma and sweetness. It's fatty and melts in your mouth. It has a richer flavor than it looks, so it's recommended to eat it with rice. It's great that you can easily buy grilled fish at the convenience store. Next, we'll introduce 14 types of sweets and snacks. Let's start with ganache. It's made with heavy cream from Hokkaido. It gradually melts and spreads a rich aroma of cocoa in your mouth. It's very popular because you can enjoy a taste similar to Godiva at an affordable price. Next is chestnut. The shell is peeled so you can eat it as it is. You can enjoy the natural sweetness of chestnuts. Next is matcha chocolate truffle. It was released in November 2023. The ganache is coated with matcha chocolate. The bitterness of cocoa and matcha is a perfect combination. Next is rice crackers. It has a pleasant aroma of shrimp. It's crispy and has a light texture. Once you try it, you can't stop eating it. Next is potato snacks. After frying, they are seasoned with rock salt. It's simple, but you can taste the sweetness of the potatoes. The texture is addictive. Next, we have cheese corn snacks. It has four layers and deep fried, giving it a light texture. It has a rich cheese flavor and it tastes delicious. It's good because it's reasonably priced. Next is nuts. It has a pleasant aroma of truffle. The quantity is small and the price is on the higher side, but it's delicious. Please try it with wine or whiskey. Next up is potato chips. It's cut a bit thicker than regular potato chips, giving them a satisfying texture. It has a rich, buttery flavor. Next is chocolate cookies. It's crispy and the chocolate melts in your mouth. It's sweet without any bitterness. The texture is light, so you can eat as many as you want. Next up is sugar butter sand tree. It's a treat with white milk chocolate sandwiched in cereal. The crispy texture of the dough has the sweetness of fermented butter and sugar. Next is caramel corn. It's made with corn and contains fermented butter. It has the sweetness of caramel and is delicious. Next up is Butter States Cookie. It's made with more butter compared to other cookies, so the sweet flavor of butter spreads in your mouth. The crispy texture is addictive. The next one is thinly sliced potato chips. The flavor is sour cream and onion. They are thinly cut, so the flavor is well coated 
and they have a pleasant texture compared to regular potato chips. Next is purple sweet potato flavored crunchy chocolate. It has a nice aroma. The crunchy texture is delightful. It has the natural sweetness of purple sweet potato. By the way, do you know that in Japan, there is a tradition where women give chocolate to men on Valentine's Day? This chocolate contains 60% cocoa, giving it a subtle bitterness. It has a nice aroma of cocoa. In January of this year, a new flavor was added to the Kit Kat, a popular chocolate snack. It's the strawberry shortcake flavor. Finely chopped strawberries are mixed into the white chocolate and it's delicious. Bake. A baked chocolate snack is also popular. The outside is crispy and the inside is smooth. There are heart-shaped Pokemon Ramune. It has a refreshing strawberry flavor. By the way, you can enjoy all four of the snacks we just introduced while staying at your home. That's Tokyo Treat, the subscription service for these snacks. Tokyo Treat is a box filled with famous Japanese national brand snacks and soft drinks that you can find in convenience stores and supermarkets. The February box is themed around Japanese Valentine's Day, including popular snacks like rice crackers called Happy Turn and spicy potato chips. It also includes instant tonkotsu ramen. It has a subtle spiciness and is addictive. There is a 100% fruit mix juice. It's fruity and delicious. There are other sweets that give you a taste of Japanese Valentine's Day, so let us briefly introduce them. This is strawberry-flavored daifuku. Inside, there is sweet white bean paste with a strawberry flavor. Strawberry chocolate crunch is also recommended. It's crispy and delicious. This is a Japanese-style pie. There is sweet red bean paste inside and it has a nice aroma of butter. The chocolate danish is soft and moist. The sweet chocolate flavor spreads in your mouth. By the way, you can enjoy all four treats we just introduced from the comfort of your home. It's Sakurako, the Japanese snack subscription service. Sakurako is a service that delivers traditional Japanese snacks to you every month. It's packed with precious snacks that you can only get in Japan. In the February box, there is tea with the aroma of cocoa. It has a mild flavor. It's nice that there is a dish included with the Japanese-style pattern. Both Tokyo Treat and Sakurako come with booklets that have information on allergy labels and how to enjoy the snacks. You can purchase just one month, but if you choose a subscription plan, you can get it at a lower price. You can get a discount by using this coupon code, so please make sure to use it. Which one would you choose, Tokyo Treat or Sakurako? Enjoy Japanese snacks that you can fill the season while staying at home. Now, let's go back to the introduction of 7-Eleven. Next, we'll introduce six types of onigiri. First up is the most popular tuna mayonnaise onigiri. It uses seaweed made in Japan, so it has a nice aroma. Inside, it's filled with plenty of tuna mayonnaise. It's creamy and delicious. Other than the tuna mayonnaise, another popular filling is the salmon. The salmon seasoned with salt goes perfectly with the rice. The salmon meat is fatty and moist. Next is tori gomoku. The rice is seasoned with chicken broth and soy sauce. The flavors of burdock, shiitake mushrooms, and carrots soaked into the rice. For those who like Japanese cuisine, it's a recommended taste. 
the pork sauces onigiri is also recommended. Teriyaki sauce flavored sausage is placed on rice seasoned with pepper. Inside, there is garlic mayonnaise making it creamy. It has a rich flavor. Next is sushi roll. It's colorful with crab sticks, tamagoyaki, and cucumber rolled inside. You can enjoy various flavors and textures all at once. Mayonnaise adds a mild taste. Next is inari, rice wrapped in fried tofu skin. The Japanese-style broth soaks into the fried tofu skin, making it juicy. The rice contains sesame seeds, carrots, and shiitake mushrooms, giving it a pleasant aroma and umami. There is also a subtle sweetness. Finally, we'll introduce 10 types of bento. First up is gyudon. It's recommended to sprinkle shichimi pepper before eating. It has a nice aroma of soy sauce. The beef is just the right amount of fat and melts in your mouth. The rich sauce goes perfectly with the rice. It's incredibly delicious, so please give it a try. Next is beef curry. This curry is a collaboration with a restaurant that always has long lines in Kanda, Tokyo. The large cuts of beef are slowly simmered, making them tender. It's fatty and melts in your mouth. The curry has a rich flavor, like a demigla sauce. It's not spicy, so it's a recommended curry even for those who can't eat spicy food. Next is chicken namban, which can be enjoyed cold. The tartness of black vinegar goes perfectly with the creamy tartar sauce. It's cold, but the chicken is tender and moist. Next is macaroni seasoned with mayonnaise. It's topped with black pepper and bacon. The richness of bacon and mayonnaise is a perfect match. The size is small, so it's recommended for enjoying with drinks. Next is pasta salad. Drizzle sesame dressing over it and mix it well before eating. There is pork, making it satisfying to eat. The sweet sesame dressing goes well with both vegetables and pasta. You can have vegetables, so it's healthy. Next is curry udon. The curry has Japanese-style broth, so it has a pleasant aroma. It's slightly spicy, but you can also taste the sweetness of the broth. The udon noodles are thick, giving it a chewy texture. The combination of pork fat and the texture of green onions makes it even more delicious. Next is gratin. It has plenty of plump shrimp. The bechamel sauce has a rich taste of butter. It has an authentic flavor, like something you'd enjoy at a restaurant. Next is spaghetti with asari clam sauce. It has a nice aroma of parsley. The sauce has a subtle saltiness and the savory flavor of asari clams. The aroma of white wine and garlic enhance the flavor. Next is onion soup. The soup, which has both beef and pork broth, soaks into the baguette, making it delicious. The saltiness of cheese adds a nice accent. The melted onions have a sweet flavor. The last one is rice gratin topped with eggs. It's luxurious with beef stew. The beef is tender and fatty. It also contains cheese, giving it a rich flavor. The rice is seasoned with ketchup. It's nice that you can easily enjoy an authentic taste, like something you would have in a high-end restaurant. If there's any restaurant you'd like us to introduce, let us know in the comments. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Well, that's all for today. 
See you in the next video. Bye-bye.